Question 12, Part C. A gym has nine pieces of equipment, five treadmills and four rowing machines. On average, each treadmill is used 65% of the time and each rowing machine is used 40% of the time. Part 1. Find an expression for the probability that, at a particular time, exactly three of the five treadmills are in use. We can represent this situation using a dash diagram, where the five dashes represent the five treadmills. Now the three letter T's represent the three treadmills that are in use at one particular time. And the letter X's represent the remaining two treadmills that are not in use at that particular time. Now it's given that the probability that a treadmill is in use at any particular time is 65% or 0.65. By the law of complements, the probability that a treadmill is not in use at any particular time is 1 minus 0.65, which is equal to 0.35. So the probability that three out of five treadmills are in use at any particular time is given by 0.65 to the power of three, which comes from these three treadmills here, multiplied by 0.35 to the power of two, which comes from these two treadmills here, and since we don't know which particular three treadmills are in use, we need to multiply by the number of ways that these five treadmills may be arranged among themselves, taking into account the repetition of the letter T's and the letter X's. And that's five choose three. We can also represent this using factorial notation. We could write it as 0.65 to the power of three times 0.35 to the power of two times five factorial over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. Part 2. Find an expression for the probability that, at a particular time, exactly 3 of the 5 treadmills are in use and no rowing machines are in use. By the law of complements, the probability that a rowing machine is not in use at any particular time is given by 1 minus 40%, which equals 60%, or 0.6. So using the answer that we obtained in part 1, the probability that 3 out of 5 treadmills are in use and no rowing machines are in use at any particular time is equal to 0.65 to the power of 3 times 0.35 to the power of 2 times 5 choose 3, now this was our answer from part 1, but we need to multiply that by 0.6 to the power of 4, which comes from the 4 treadmills not being in use at that particular time. 